So just a couple of days ago, this new Joker movie came out, and let me tell you, buddy, the media has been bashing this movie. They're saying that it glorifies a killer and encourages copycat attacks nationwide. They can't even make a simple fictional movie anymore without getting attacked by the media for no reason. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I seriously doubt anybody's gonna take a movie about the Joker seriously. I really don't think somebody's gonna watch this new Joker movie and decide to become a mass shooter. I mean, violent movies come out all the time. I'm kind of confused on why they're specifically targeting this one. What is it about specifically this Joker movie that glorifies serial killers? I mean, I really don't think this movie glorifies the Joker at all. Nobody's on their hands and knees praising the Joker after watching this movie, buddy. And honestly, I think people know the difference between a movie and reality. I mean, I didn't watch Spider-Man and try and go swing from buildings, now did I? Let me tell you, buddy, the media needs to get a grip. And believe it or not, they've actually stepped up movie theater security nationwide for this movie. For specifically this movie, they've heightened security across the entire country. I mean, I get that there's been shootings in movie theaters before, but I feel like this is going a little overboard. And apparently, the reason that they're doing all of this is because non-direct threats made on social media. And the funny thing about this article from CNN is they have an entire headline in it titled some moviegoers are unbothered and it says Matthew Clark attended the opening night Thursday and he said he was not concerned about security warnings a quote from him says when I first heard about the mass shooting controversy it didn't really bother me to me it was just another stupid thing that was going on I like how they have to highlight a whole paragraph about this like this guy's just crazy for not being bothered no direct threat was made he has nothing to be worried about let the man go see a movie and another quote from our man Matthew says it's fictional. It's just a movie about a character that's going through a transformation. To me, it just feels like I don't know how to put it into words. It's just not a big deal. Can we get a round of applause for our man Matthew? Our man Matthew right here, he's standing up for us, all right? He, he's not buying into the media. He's saying, you know what? I'm going to go sit down and enjoy this movie, whether you like it or not. Matthew is a true national hero, if you ask me. Matthew is speaking for all moviegoers across the country, all right? Anyways, I got a little off topic there. But why is the media pushing this narrative so hard that this movie is horrible? This movie is just going to breed killers out of nowhere. That's not reality. People are going to go there, watch this fictional movie, knowing it's fictional. They're going to enjoy it and go home. That's it. That's it. They're not going to go home and plot a mass murder. First, it's Call of Duty and Fortnite causing all of these shootings, and now all of a sudden it's a Joker movie? The media is switching up faster than Kevin Durant. You know, if we're just going to make up random things that cause shootings, can we at least make it something that people don't like? Like, can we say calculus causes shootings? Because if we're being honest here, that makes just about as much sense as a man with clown paint on in a movie causing shootings. If anyone should have clown paint on right now, it's the media. Because y'all looking like a Ronald McDonald type beat right now. I mean, you might as well tie up the clown shoes and sign up for the circus and all. If you're gonna act like a jolly green buffoon, you're gonna get treated like one. I just clown the media for three minutes straight. This has to be one of my favorite videos I've ever made. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. You can follow me on Twitter at subdirelex. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Feel like a master or nothing Not even the one thing I stuck with Used to be so sure of myself But now myself knows I'm bluffing It's so easy to be tough on Life ain't knock your fucking teeth out yet Turn 26, feel like a death sentence It's been the hardest year of my life Felt like Goku with a Dragon Ball Trying to find a tree in my mind Put it in Pro Tools Cause it's so cool to be a rap star When they know you Till you realize that you don't fuck with yourself